Hi everyone, it's Michael McJunkin again, and uh, today I'm going to be reading, yes, another story for the kids, and this story is actually going to be from one of the My Little Pony stories, one of the five minute stories, and uh, for, to explain the story, it's supposed to be like a series of five minute stories told by Pinkie Pie, who's supposed to babysit, who thought this would be good for Flurry Heart, since... Well, I can let this finish the things. Like, Pinkie Pie had the best idea ever! Like, I'm going to make you a book about every... about all the amazing things you missed and all the amazing things you get to look forward to, Pinkie continued. I call it... Five Minute Stories from My Little Pony. By yours truly, Pinkie Pie. Hey, uh, so to starting now to pick a story from the five minute stories, I think it's best we start with hmm ah the royal wedding. This old which you may know is probably based off one of the episodes, a Canterlot wedding, if you've seen it. When two ponies fall in love, they get married and have a wedding. It's a ginormous party with rings and dancing and a great big cake with two ponies on top. Not real ponies, they're like little pony toys. When Princess Cadence and Shining Armor got married, it was one of the biggest weddings Cantola had ever seen. Ponies came from all over Equestria and every pony was super excited. Princess Twilight Sparkle was not excited at all. So, basically not every pony. And Shiny Armor was her big brother, and she was upset because she didn't even know that he was planning to get married. When she read the invitation, she couldn't believe her eyes. She thought that a sister should get to find out before every pony else. Twilight's sadness about the wedding didn't last long, as she kept reading the invitation, and she quickly realized that her brother was going to marry Princess Cadence. Twilight Sparkle completely changed her mind and flipped out with excitement! Twilight Sparkle loved Princess Cadence. She had known her all her life and already felt like she was family. Princess Cadence used to fulse at Twilight while she was very young. Twilight could not wait to have Princess Cadence as her big sister. Since Princess Twilight Sparkle loved Shining Armor and Princess Cadence so much, she wanted their wedding to be so spectacular. She gathered all her closest friends, including Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, and Rarity, and asked for their help to make it the best wedding ever, as Rainbow Dash said. They all packed up and took the Friendship Express to Canterlot. As the train drew closer to Canterlot, the ponies couldn't contain their excitement. Every pony was buzzing knowing that. Soon, Princess Cadence and Shining Armor would be married, and Twilight was going to have a new sister. It was going to be perfect. What could go wrong? On the big day of the wedding, chaos erupted when the ponies dis discovered that Princess Cadence wasn't really Princess Cadence. She was Chrysalis. Queen of the Changelings in disguise. Chrysalis was planning on ruling the kingdom disguised as Princess Cadence, but discovered, but the Inn discovered did not ruin her plans. Not even the brave Shining Armor could stop the evil villain. Chrysalis put a spell on Shining Armor. She was going to soak up his love and use it as power to rule all over Equestria. With her scary changelings by her side, she would be unstoppable. Twilight Sparkle and the other ponies tried to stop Chrysalis. She blasted the changelings with the magic from their horn, dodging the scary creatures as they led their attack. But for every changeling Twilight Sparkle blasted, two more popped up in its place. The changelings were just too strong, and there were too many of them. 
The ponies knew Chrysalis controlled the changelings. If they had any chance of getting rid of the changelings, they were going to need it to defeat Chrysalis. But how? The ponies needed something even stronger than their powers to take down the villain. After finding the real Princess Cadence, Pinkie Pie had a brilliant idea! What if they could channel Shining Armor and Princess Cadence's true love? The couple was willing to try anything to save their kingdom from Chrysalis's evil plans. Focusing on all their love, Shining Armor and Princess Cadence touched horns. The power of their love echoed throughout the kingdom, breaking Chrysalis's spell. Kapow! <laughs> The shock wave of love was so powerful it blasted Chrysalis and all the changelings back to the changeling kingdom. With Chrysalis gone, Shining Armor and Cadence were finally able to have their wedding. And there were rings and dancing and a great big cake with two little ponies on top. Plus, Twilight Sparkle finally had her new sister. Every pony in the kingdom was happy for the new royal couple and was safe once again and it was all thanks to Twilight and her friends. And as Rainbow Dash said, BEST WEDDING EVER! That should do it for today. And I hope you enjoyed the story and as you can tell, yes, I am a brony. And it's probably, just thought if it, it's probably not obvious to you guys, but you well, I hope you enjoyed this, and stay shiny, Animaniacs. Or, actually, I'd say, like, stay pony, everyone. <laughs>